Hello, <clears throat> this is Video Free America One. I'm coming to you because I have a. I've been li listening to people where I work at. I work at Walmart, and I've been listening to them talk. And most people in that place are complacent about what's going on in the world right now. They don't really know about Obama and what he's done. They don't know anything about the Obamacare plan. They don't know anything about politics. Most, a lot of the people I know have just stood behind their TV sets and played video games like Halo and. and, and those other war games, whatever, you know, and they just, they're gamers, that's all they do, they play Dungeons and Dragons card games, they don't even, they don't know what's going on around them, that's what, that's how the devil's going to take over this place, that's how Obama's taking over, because nobody cares, they don't care, they just do, they go on and on about their busy little lives, not caring what goes around around them, and then one day they're going to wake up, and they're going to be slaves to the government, they're going to be forced to take the mark of the beast, 666, or the RFID chip. People are complacent. They don't know and they don't care. They don't want to know. And that's how that's how the, the devil and their antichrist is going to take over. They do not understand. I try to explain stuff to people who work and they're going, oh, you're just a conspiracy theorist. You just believe in conspiracy theories. I say, no, I don't, man. It's in the news. Just you turn your TV set and watch the news. Get away from your computer for playing video games. You know, all these war games these people play, if they, if they really were in a real war and were getting shot at and saw people's guts spewing all over the place and body parts, I really don't think they'd be in there playing World of War or Warcraft or, or Halo or any of those other stupid games. They would think twice about it, I think. These people have no clue about what's going on around them. They have no clue about what happens when a bullet hits a body. They don't have no clue about what happens when a bomb blows a body apart. They don't have a clue. It's nasty, man. I remember one time when I was a little kid, I saw this car. We, were, we lived in this busy street. And I saw this car fly past the house, man, it must have been going 80 or 90 down City Street. Well, it didn't negotiate a turn down at the end and hit a gas station, side, right straight to the wall. The next day we went up there, and I got my first taste of a nasty thing. I saw human brains on the grass, just smeared all over the place with flies getting in it. That is disgusting. And people do not understand, when you're in a war, or you got people getting executed, or, or, or they decide they're going to start blowing citizens away because they don't want, they want to take their rights away. You people are going to wake up. By that time, it's going to be too late. <clears throat> you know, I pray that Christians like myself and other Christians will be raptured out before all the bad things start happening. I think we will because the Bible says we're not appointed to wrath. We are Christians. We are the ch children of the living God. We are saved by the blood. We are healed by the blood, and we are we are we are just covered in the blood. So we we will be taken out in the rapture. I pray that's going to happen soon before all the bad things start. I pray the ones that aren't <clears throat> saved will be or will find out or, or try to be because during the tribulation you're either going to be forced to take the mark of the beast or the RFID chip in your in your hand or in your head in order to buy and sell you ain't, you ain't going to be able to get a license you won't be able to use your banking transactions you won't be able to get a job now without that mark and if you don't take that mark they will execute you uh, you will be a martyr but the plus side of that would be you'll go to heaven if you don't take the mark providing you're a Christian. If you don't take the mark just because you're belligerent, you just don't want nobody to tell you what to do. Yeah, I don't know about that, but if you uh, if, if you're in the tribulation period and you and you do not take the mark, chances are you will have to be. You will try to. You will be a Christian because that's the only way you can get through it. I just want to let you know that I, I pray for all you people out there. Do not sit in front of your video games all day long playing, being gamers. Get out and see what's happening. See see what's going on in the world today. It's not pretty. We are being, we're having our rights taken away, we're having our souls taken away. We're, we're, you're going to be selling your soul to the devil pretty soon. I pray that everything will, you people will see. I pray that God will let you open your eyes and take the, take the film off everybody's eyes to see what's happening right now in this world. Uh, that's all I have to say right now. I'm just kind of concerned, okay? God bless everybody.